It's time to get the best stars with your narrowband data. Don't waste your time shooting RGB stars again. Welcome to SETI Astro. I'll be using my two panel mosaic of the California Nebula for our example. I have hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. And first we'll combine them in the normal method that uh, PixInsight tutorials would have you do. Using channel combination quick to make an SHO palette and utilizing an unlinked stretch. Here's our initial uh, STF all these magenta stars. We'll follow just quickly the normal channel calibration method as laid out in uh, PixInsight tutorials for narrowband data. The first step is to perform background neutralization. I have my preview down the lower right. Next step is color calibration. We have the preview one for the background reference and preview two for the white reference. And now we should be able to go ahead and do a linked STF. There we go. Quick STF, SHO palette, and all these magenta stars. Now for the way I would do it, I wouldn't do any of these steps. Here we are back with our linear data. I've already done grading correction and Blair Exterminator. Next all you will have to do is remove the stars, run Noise Exterminator, and do your initial stretch. Stars removed, Noise Exterminator, initial stretch, and I do have a leftover blemish there so you could always use Clone Stamp to get rid of that. I've done that on the other channels too. Sulfur and oxygen has a very weak signal in California, so that's uh, stretched quite a bit stronger. After doing your initial stretches on your starless images, you should have linear star images as well from Star Exterminator. And now for the tool to give us our magic stars from our narrowband data. It is our good friend, the 4X Palette Utility. The link for the repository will be in the description. It's under Script Utilities, 4X Palette Utility. Once you have the script up, there's an option to choose two channels if you just have hydrogen and oxygen, or three if you have sulfur, hydrogen, and oxygen. I know up here it says you should use stretched stars but I find it works much better with unstretched linear stars. So we have stretched starless, unstretched stars, and I have three channels. So I'll go ahead and select my sulfur, hydrogen, oxygen, and then the sulfur stars, hydrogen stars, and oxygen stars. Then you go ahead and click execute. It'll run through and make a couple different masks it uses through the process. When it's done running, you'll have the 4X stars, the 4X palette itself, which for the California looks ugly. So I'm not even gonna use that. I'm just gonna get rid of it. And uh, the masks it generated as well, get rid of those. And now we have our 4x stars, and to stretch them, I use histogram transformation. And pulling the midtones down to about the 0.25, you can just run this a couple times. And you may want to tweak the very last stretch just a little to the brightness you want. And there we go. There's our narrow band stars. One final thing you may want to do, just depending on star color, is uh, a little color saturation. And 
and there we go. There's some blues, there's some oranges, some reds, some yellows, and even that very, very bright one is uh, not a weird magenta or anything. So you have a, a bunch of different uh, star colors that uh, look very much like RGB stars. What I also want to show is that if you only have two channels, the stars it generates are still uh, very awesome. So I'll go ahead and just load in hydrogen and oxygen for the stars and hit execute. Again, it's going to go through and make the 4X palette and the star map. Now here's just the HO stars in through the Forex script. And we'll go ahead and do the same stretching we did before, just histogram transformation. And since it does just use the two channels, I normally just run a quick SCNR to get rid of some of that teal on those stars. And there we go. Here's just HO stars in the 4X script. Again, uh, plenty of color variation in there. And if you run just color saturation quickly, Now you can really see that there's some reds, some blues, some whites, and again, even the really, really, really bright one, it's not, uh, it's not some weird color. So even just with two channels, the Forex script really does uh, do some great RGB star colors. I also want to point out that the Forex script does such a great job with RGB star color that you could just run SPCC on it and it can correct it for you. I didn't do any fancy settings. I just ran it like I would with my RGB filters and it uh, finds some nice linear fits and can correct your star colors that way as well if you want even truer RGB color in your stars. No need to shoot RGB stars anymore. Don't waste those hours under those clear nights when you could be gathering uh, narrowband data. Lastly, let's just go ahead and combine those stars with our HSO narrowband image that we have. And I'm just going to use pixel math to screen the two. And there we are, beautiful RGB stars only from narrowband data, no time wasted under those clear nights gathering RGB stars. I hope you found this video useful, and here's to clear skies and better star colors. Please comment, like, and subscribe.